Hi there, welcome back to my channel. I am Melissa Ashley. Firstly, before I start this video, please don't forget to hit the like button down below and the subscribe button because you subscribing to my channel helps show your support and helps my channel grow. So I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Today's video, we're going to be talking about mental health issues. If you are suffering from mental health issues or you find watching videos like this triggering, please stop now. However, if you don't, please carry on watching. Firstly, I want to apologise for the way I look. This video is going to be very real. You're going to see me in all states because it's going to be filmed over seven days and I'm going to explain why. I suffer mental health issues, mainly depression and anxiety that are linked to my chronic illnesses. I have just come out of a very, very deep depression and I still have it kind of bubbling under the surface but I'm about to take part in a programme which I'm hoping will help and I'm going to explain how. I met a man called Kevin Braddock about a year ago now at the Barbara Streisand concert in Hyde Park of all places. He was working for a mental health charity that supported musicians and we had a little chat and he gave me a deck of cards. These deck of cards were to help people with mental health issues focus on something different because if like me you suffer from depression and anxiety when that black cloud as I call it is over you you find it very difficult to focus or concentrate on anything else. So the idea of these cards is you draw two a day, one is an action card and one is to something to think about and for a moment it f changes the way you're thinking, you have to focus on this, doing something or thinking about something other than how bad you're feeling. I've used these cards on and off for the year that I've known Kevin, I keep them in my drawer at work actually so they're stuck there at the moment. However, Kevin's trialling the system online, which will make it an easier access point. And he asked me if I would participate in a trial, and I said yes. So this video is going to be about that week's trial that I'm having, about the practice cards. I've just found the email, and the system's called Practice Cards. And this is the logo for it and I will put all of Kevin's contact details in the description box below. Each morning for the next seven days we'll send an email offering you a couple of practice cards suggesting things to do and contemplate over the course of the day. These cards are designed to help people recover from anxiety and depression or work on their mental health by building positive daily habits. Each email comes with a video too. So Honestly, you couldn't get any more simple than this. I just, I love this system already in regard to the cards. I've used them. So there are two types of cards. A yellow action card suggests activities and things to do. And a blue idea card offers wise teachings to meditate upon. And all this has been founded by Kevin now this is as simple as they suggest you give yourself five to ten minutes a day to work on this now five to ten minutes a day to work on your mental health I think you know is not asking a lot I'm going to carry on reading this email to find out when I get my two practice cards and if it's today what they are and I'll go through them with you and if it starts tomorrow I'll see you tomorrow <laughs> Good morning, it's Monday morning. I'm gonna go online now and see what practice cards have been sent through to me today. Your cards for today are below. So my action is step back from the grid or the schedule, go a slower pace. How about deliberately going a slow pace and stepping back from the tempo? 
people might get hot and bothered because you're in the way but never mind they'll get over it okay so today i have work starting soon and i'm going to be focused on a project that i'll be working on mainly on my own so what i think i will do is I'll keep my mobile phone away from me and all those kinds of distractions and just relax my idea card today the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago the second best time is today let's see what this means good habits are hard to pick up and maintain bad habits are easy to pick up and difficult to drop that's very true the same can be said of regrets that's what this idea card is about starting something you'd like to see endure which you want to stick at some my big tree i suppose is to enjoy the wanderlust to travel to places that oh, those far off destinations and those different cultures and experience the smells and the sounds and the food and that's i want i want to go everywhere I want to do everything that I can and so I guess I need a plan. So my work day is over and I got this little book where I wrote what my cards were today. The first card was my action card which was step back from the grid or the schedule, go at a slower pace. Going through, buster going through the hatch this morning I said I was trying to step away from my mobile phone a bit I think I reduced it a bit at the time but I didn't stay off it all day which is what I need to learn to do but I definitely didn't rush today I took my time with things and didn't feel so panicked or agitated so that was a good thing and then the thing about the thing to think about the blue card today the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago the second best time is today now i mentioned earlier that travel is my tree that i want to plant i want to travel so much more and it was something that i'd been discussing with scott it's bus coming back in something i discussed with scott the other day about really having to save for the bigger holidays and things so i came up with this i've put this together which is our where is our next adventure so we have a plan we we don't know what's happening with our thailand trip this year we just gotta wait and see we really hope i'm so sorry about buster he's just like come in and decides to make as much noise as he see possibly can look get involved look look you're on video <laughs> anyway look at him looking at me um this is the mummy where you hold my bone um yeah we're looking at going to florida next year to disney and things but with the COVID-19 situation, don't even know if that will happen. So we're going to start thinking about when we can travel and where we travel to and plan like the budgeting and stuff so we can afford to do it. So we actually do do it. Good morning, it's day two of the practice cards and it's Tuesday today. I just wanted to say that I've sat down and filled out my journal about yesterday and the things that I actively did with regard to the card. We are on day two, so we better open up the email for day two and let's see what it is. Oh, I like this one. Look dance for 10 minutes to three songs now that is right up my alley and also hang on a second <laughs> that 
is right up my alley and also it gets gives you a chance to see what the cards look like so now you know um but i hopefully gonna pop them here somewhere we'll let them already do my dance <laughs> and then my idea card is cultivate patience whatever it is it will pass wow I'm going to watch the video about that particular one and what it means which is provided every day with the email and then I've got to start my day so I'll do my little dance later and I'll pop some highlights in and I'm going to find out now about what this Cultivate Patience card is all about every card comes with a video so you have that kind of explanation Hi everyone, it's Wednesday. Um, I'm not going to lie to you, I've been really poorly today. I've been in bed with a migraine and a bad tummy. So I haven't even opened the cards today. It's like half past six in the evening now because I've just literally got up for dinner and then I'm planning on going back to bed. But I thought I would do the cards. So let's have a look. Today is just another day, but still what's something you can add positive you can add to it your suggestions are below put the idea card first of all which is one day at a time try and live in that way no doubt you've heard the phrase before but one day at a time is amongst the most effective strategies for self-care and dealing with feelings a commitment to stay in the present and also a way of breaking the future down to manageable human sized blocks one day at a time is an article of faith in most noble recovery fellowships one day at a time is very true. I know that when I'm suffering, be it mental or physical illnesses, I have to take it one day at a time. Especially, well, no with both really, because they both are unpredictable. So you just need to focus on the present and what's happening and stay positive. So yeah, one day at a time. Action, 50 breaths, count them in and out. Breath control can help with the bodily response to stress and can benefit people suffering with anxiety and depression. So it's saying at some point today, stop and do that. Now, since I have had the coronavirus and it affected my respiratory system, that's something that I have been practicing stopping and taking a breath quite literally because even now you can hear me because I'm feeling a bit run down straight away I'm like oh I want to take a breath so literally taking a breath is something that I'm working on still daily and it's something that I completely agree with stopping and just taking that breath. I'm gonna go get myself comfy, get an ice pack because I'm overheating and just sit there and focus on my breathing for a while. That sounds like a really good idea. 
I just wanted to add something about yesterday. Um, after yesterday's dancing, I went back to work and I felt really, really flat, like mentally, physically and everything. And it was possibly the start of this as well. I had plans to go and do bits and pieces yesterday and I just put it all on hold and I had a bath, a long bath and then I slept and slept and slept because I just needed it. I had to cancel my PT session. I was just chronically fatigued and having a nap doesn't help when you have chronic fatigue um, it's really hard to explain so yesterday after the dance activity it was maybe a bit too much for me so I need to watch the activity cards and what he's asking and maybe if I had rather than dance for 10 minutes danced for one song and then later on done another song and then later on done another song I might have not crashed so hard I might have it's one of those things I don't know but that's what happened yesterday so I'm going to sit and write in my book all the things that happened and my cards for today and then I'm going to go take my breaths when I go back to bed I'll see you tomorrow which is Thursday Good morning, I'm up, I'm awake, I feel a lot better, my head's not hurting me as much today so that's good and it's Thursday which means it's a new card day so I'm just opening up my email on my phone and here we go, day four, let's have a look. Today's a bit different, here's a heavy recommendation to pause. We may be creatures of habit, but none of us are robots. So this morning, let's pause the practice and just reflect a few questions to pose to yourself. Have any of these cards helped? And if so, how? Which would you like to do more of and to add to your personal practice, which, you, which didn't you like? Has it been easy or difficult to find a time each day to do one or more of the suggestions? So straight away like let me just get my book oh. yesterday the breathing one was great in fact i did the breathing one twice yesterday and i'm going to repeat it again today i found that it put me into such a state of deep re relaxation the first time i did it i fell asleep and had a nap and then last night that's buster again last night before i went to sleep again i did it again and i got to sleep so that's definitely for me and the today the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago which I then created this travel jar which I'm already focused about and I said I'm going to start the five pound challenge because without money I can't travel and so that's kind of refocused my mind and things of what I want to do the ones I suppose I am finding difficult are the ones such as cultivate patience whatever it is it will pass and like one day at a time try living one day at a time because it's not something like a tangible achievement that you can do straight away it's something that's going to take time and effort and patience which I suppose is the whole point of it and that's why I find it difficult because if I've given if I'm given something to do I would work my ass off to get it done and I'll try my best for it to be the best it possibly can. I'm a bit of a perfection queen in that sort of sense. But those, like I hate to say it because it's not true, feel airy-fairy to me because it's not something I can go, oh yeah, done that, check that off the list. Which is why they're there. Because I need to learn to patience and to take one day at a time and not rush through things so that's my immediate thought 
my action is use the voice call someone at random use the voice call someone at random if you ever play the nobody ever rings me game when you decide not to ring anyone for a month because nobody ever rings you just to prove that nobody ever rings you and you're tired of making all the effort when the phone finally and inevitably does ring your prime with a month's worth of righteous resentment to offload and see on witting caller there you've proved that nobody ever rings you even when they do so it's very true um so yeah i'm gonna go to work first of all and i will give someone a call later and someone has sprung into my mind straight away so that's my thoughts for today and my action good morning it's friday I'm not dressed yet i've got a busy day today I'm going to talk about yesterday. Use the voice, call somebody at random was my action. And it didn't happen yesterday. I didn't get round to. I hold my hands up. It went out of my head. I was so busy yesterday. So my don't rush from the other day. I should have learnt a lesson. It's, however, I have brushed my hair this morning. Put it up in a bun. So I've made some progress. So I guess I should be looking at my new cards for today. Action. Oh. <laughs> Go to bed early. Hope is a good breakfast, but a poor supper. 100% doing. Not a problem. We'll be going to bed early. So an early night this evening will be most welcome. Idea. Find your own pace and take the time to do it. <laughs> I wish that had been me yesterday. A personal note. Shortly after I had a breakdown in 2014, I decided to go for a walk along of 177 miles along Offa's Dyke Path. This path traces the ancient border between England and Wales and somewhere along the path I realised that I needed to learn to walk again. It took two weeks with a few days off in the middle, but nothing but walking every day, one foot in front of the other, over hills and fields, helping me find a pace that suited me. After having operated for years at a speed that was way too fast, we tend to naturally to move more slowly as we get older. However, I hadn't. Ordered by mechanics, thankfully worked well. I'd just been in the wrong gear these days. When I notice I'm accelerating and chasing, this is usually induced by an anxiety about needing to get somewhere at a certain time. I decelerate back to a gentler rhythm. Wow, that really resonates with me. I have chronic illnesses, I, and one of them is chronic fatigue syndrome, or ME. And the other one is hypermobile Ellis Danlos syndrome, and both have as one actually has in the title, fatigue and I know that this means finding your own pace both mentally and physically and I don't do that. I, the minute I feel like I have an eeny bit of energy, I try and get everything done as quickly as possible and then I crash. I don't pace things out and say, that can wait, that's fine, that can wait. So, yeah, I need to find my own pace. But yeah, I do. I need to learn to shut off a bit more and say, that can wait, that's not a priority or... I just, I just need to f do that and because rushing all the time and then not getting things done because I feel tired and then have to rely on Scott or other people then makes my anxiety grow because I feel I get into a shame spiral of feeling a bit useless to be quite honest because I feel like my body and my mind's failing and that's because I rushed and I just need to pull it back. See, these cards, they really make you think.
good morning it is saturday morning and i thought first of all before we look at today's cards please excuse me i haven't put my face on yet um that we would look back at the cards that i was sent yesterday and the cards that we've got today scott's walking around in the background so if you hear that so yesterday's action was go to bed early done yeah last night and early night was 100 percent needed and that's exactly what i had and then the other card was find your own pace and take time to do it last night and yesterday i was definitely taking into consideration my physical health needs ahead of what i thought i needed to achieve mentally and took things at my own pace and today it's almost lunchtime now and it was the same thing i woke up this morning and i was in an incredible amount of pain and i was like you know what i can't rush i'm not going to rush so let's have a look at today's cards which is oh well okay <laughs> The action today is squats and press ups, the simplest exercises. I'm not in shape to do that today. However, when we get to Scott's parents, with the help of my walking stick, I'm going to try and do a few small laps of their garden just to get moving a little bit. And that's the whole point getting moving and doing something that like releases endorphins and stuff so now this is interesting today i've got um two action cards so i've got squats and press ups which i've just shown you and then the next one is run raise the heart rate and get a sweat on now when he created these like it's very easy to say i can't physically do those things but he's not saying go out and do a two mile run what he's saying is think about what can you do today to get your body moving a bit just get yourself moving if possible he's just saying there's a link between being physically active and being good for your mental health so if you can try to get moving and these cards are a reminder to move not you must it's a reminder so it's really important Let's have a look at his idea today. Chop wood, carry water. I've had this one in the pack of cards with work. Make your bed, do your work, spend time with your loved ones, keep the wood store full and the plants watered. Yeah, so when, when you're in a deep depression, and I know this to be 100% true, I stop doing things around the house i stop loading the dishwasher or cleaning the kitchen sides or wiping around the sink and the bath and i just stop i i just don't seem to have the inclination or the energy to do these things and by stopping doing those little everyday habits you're still stopping moving and you're it's i hate to say this it's like you're giving up and it's true and so i think what he's saying trying to say is try and keep those little things going because they're the things that will help you get through that's the cards for today day seven tomorrow last day so i'll see you then bye bye Hello. <laughs> it's Sunday and I'm not going to lie to you, I've had such a hectic three days, three, because Friday I was at my mum's for her birthday, yesterday we were at Scott's mum's for her birthday and today we've been at my niece's for my great niece's first birthday. So I've just got home, the noise you can hear is our jacuzzi going at the moment. And I'm going to look at the cards. I haven't looked at them today. 
congratulations on completing the final completing the week the final day comes with the last suggestion of a habit worth building do none of these things take a day off from practicing the peaks of principle after movement stillness after contemplation resolve after energy calm after practice pizza I'd like to think you feel a bit better at the end of this seven day course. We've looked at a lot of things, finding your own pace and doing things more slowly, dancing upon waking, the notion of living one day at a time, a reminder to take the initiative and to pick up the phone, a habit of practicing 50 breaths every now and again, and a few others. There are many ways to build positive habits and maybe some of these have worked well for you. Perhaps you've got into a good habit of doing something every day for your mental health, using these cards as prompt for action or contemplation. Okay, I want to say that this week I have slowed things down. I have thought a lot of about my future and the things that I want and I've contacted people I've tried to keep my body physically active when I can even though this week has coincided with quite a high pain week and I'm proud of myself there were times when I felt like I was slumping and I was feeling crap and I remembered my cards and what I was supposed to learn. Even things like after my dance I was exhausted physically and mentally and I remember going back to work and finding it so difficult and I felt this cloud come over me. And I was like, why is this cloud coming over me? I've just done something that made me feel really good. And then I was like, because now I'm really tired and all I want to do is sleep. And rather than fight it and go, oh, but I've got to do this and I've got to get there and I need to do that. I finished work and I went to sleep. And bugger me, that cloud lifted straight away. It didn't hang around. Sorry, there's a fly in here and boss is going mental. Um, it didn't hang around. And it's because I learned to slow down and do things at my own pace. I'm not saying I'm cured. That's the point of this. They're practice cards. You keep practicing. It's not like you're going to ever level up and finally sort of be a winner. It's not about that. It's about remembering those things that help you feel better. So I've had a really good week with the practice cards. I enjoyed getting them through to my email. It was, it acts more as a prompt rather than remembering to physically get the cards out each day and shuffle them and pull two cards. And the fact that then you have the video clip that you can click on and watch and find out more information about the card if you're unsure what it means because the cards are so basic and like yes yesterday was it when it was chop wood carry water if you just read that card you'd be like well, what does that mean what am i supposed to do but then with it having it online you click on the explanation and you find out more and you understand the point of the card so that's a great feature i really like the practice cards online kevin i think you've done a really good job i would love to see more and keep going on this fight to spread mental health awareness and that there is help out there you just need to ask i hope you enjoyed this video it's been a long one and it's been a up and down one please give it a huge like subscribe to my channel contact kevin his details are all listed below if you're interested in the cards and find out more information about them and i'll see you soon lots of love